So this is really trippy. So today was the first day of recording the audiobook for my forthcoming collection of personal stories, uh, a paper orchestra, which will be required reading for everyone here. And so the, your personal essay, so I can record it in any order. So I figured, well, I just wanted to start with this one called The House on Witherspoon Street, which was talks about my days in college and how I wasn't a good writer. And the story opens with me talking to my creative writing professor, who was a very successful novelist. And so at lunch, we take a break and my wife goes, she, she picks up the New York Times and she goes, isn't this the guy? And so, yes, this is Russell Banks, a very acclaimed novelist. He was a, a finalist for the Pulitzer for one of his books. And he's a very sweet man, very down to earth guy. And he was my teacher. We would, maybe 10 or 15 of us, we'd sit around a table and we'd read our stories and, uh, you know, He'd give us notes and help us along the way. And, you know, in the beginning, as I talk about in this story that I wrote, I was not a good writer. And I don't even think I was a good writer at the end, for sure. But I wrote one piece that I guess made everybody laugh. And he, he liked it a lot. He liked it enough to choose it that I was read, and that uh, I had to read it aloud in front of the faculty. And the faculty included uh, Toni Morrison and Joyce Carol Oates. So they were there. Now, they were, they were being paid to sit there. But I remember reading it. And it, it was a really big deal for me, like to be, to read it in front of these incredible writers. Like he was the, I don't know, the fact that he chose what I wrote, it was like a big deal, uh, especially for someone who really wasn't that good. It was a big deal to me. And so, you know, just a kind man, uh, very talented writer. So yeah, uh, he died over the weekend. And it just, it's odd to me that of all the pieces that I could have chosen to record first, that was the one that I wanted to choose. And then I find out minutes later that, um, that he passed. Uh, my heart goes out to his family and to his four daughters. And um, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Banks.